Hi everybody, this is Matt. Thanks for watching and welcome back. Let's go flying in this 1945 Lustum. We'll see you after a while. And I've got my friend Evan. Hi everybody. And we are in the hangar with the Luscom 8A. So what I wanted to do is uh, I just wanted to give you an update as to what this is like to fly. I'll show you a little bit of flying footage here that was shot by my buddy Evan on, on this phone. And so Evan, this is the first time that you've seen me fly this airplane. Yep, and it looked like you've been flying forever. <laughs> <laughs> so, what are your impressions of an old airplane? Well, I think that people would be surprised at how agile the plane really is. It was neat to see you put the thing through a couple rolls and uh, do some other cool stuff with the plane. Considering its age, it's what, 70 years old? Um, it's older than that because it's uh, 1945. Okay, 1945. So. That's okay. That's that's older than I am. So uh, it's older than I am too, thankfully. <laughs> um, but you know, there you go. Yep. So you thought that it was pretty agile. Yes, and, and and honestly, I wish I was shorter because it's it's when you get inside the plane, it's really cool. And so, what did you? What was your impressions of the landing? Because I know that you haven't seen. Uh, I like tail wheels land. I like to watch you do a wheel landing because to me it looks smoother. It looks more natural actually to me than the three point does, and uh, and I think it's uh, neat because it just kind of shows off your skill. Well, wheel landings are actually the hardest when it comes to stick and rudder type of work. So try to give the viewers an idea because you know they weren't actually, and they'll never be able to see what it's really like the way that you did. So kind of walk them through that. Well, what happens is uh, Matt, when he comes in, uh, normally a, a three-point landing or uh, or a uh, yeah three-point landing, the uh, you come in and your front wheels and your back wheel are the same. And this is tail wheel, so the plane sits at an angle. But what Matt does when he brings it in and does an actual wheel landing is, is he keeps flying the plane as he loses airspeed, even though he's coming on and he comes to the ground and the plane is still perfectly horizontal. And then as his airspeed drops, the tail wheel or just naturally drops down. It's really cool to watch. Well, you have to keep flying it all, all the, the way until it stops, Yep, literally. But that's one of the things that I love about uh, these types of, of planes. So It's neat to see an old bird still, uh, still going. Yeah, I mean, completely a piece of aviation history. So anything else, uh, any other quick observations that you have for the audience when it comes to this? Even though I haven't flown in it, I know it's going to be fun to fly. So I really encourage people that... Uh, are thinking about flying, uh, try, try light sport. This is a light sport uh, certified plane and uh, it's a, it's, it looks like it's really fun to fly.